All right. So I'm gonna whoops. I'm gonna share my screen here. Okay. Trinidad. No, close though. It starts with a T. Afton? No. Let me see. Uh, Trinidad. You know what? You know Do you what? Know place this? What? Uh, with an H. There's no R. T. Starts with a T. T H. T. Close. Close. Thailand. Yep. Thailand. Right. Thailand. Yeah. That's my trip. That's the trip that I went on and with my daughter and my girlfriend. It was my daughter's belly dance retreat in Thailand. And we went to the country right here. That's Bangkok. It's the, it's the capital of the country of Thailand. But we didn't stay in, in Bangkok. We had to take a plane going south near the water. And we stayed at a retreat that was called Sam Samahita Retreat. And it was right on the beach. But it was the most beautiful place with flowers. And if Pastor Suzanne would show the next slide, one of the things that I got to do was go to the elephant sanctuary. And the elephant is an animal that is worshipped by the people of Thailand, and they care for them. And these elephants that come to the sanctuary are elephants that were either working or were maybe in circus, or they have been abused, and they, the people take them to the sanctuary, and they're cared for. And what happens is, you see the gentleman right there standing next to the elephant with the yeah. cap on the black? He is actually the caretaker of that particular elephant. They get people, they say, from the mountains of Thailand because they can speak the language and understand the elephant. And they stay with the elephant either until they die or the elephant dies. So they really become like family. So you do the next slide. Okay, in Thailand, the religion is Buddha. And I must tell you, this is only one of the Buddhas. The gold statue is the Buddha. And we saw at the very beginning of the trip, the biggest Buddha, gold Buddha there is, and it's shaped like this, it looks just like this, but China gave Thailand the Buddha years and years ago, but it was covered with plas plaster, and as the plaster started breaking, they saw the gold, and oh, of wow. course China wanted it back, but they weren't giving it back, and they did <laughs> But they don't know whether it's solid gold or whether it's hollow, meaning there's nothing inside of it but it's a beautiful, but they've got all types of Buddhas. Next slide. This is one of the temples in Thailand. They, and if you look, they've got these little, this green thing that looks like a snake around the banister, and it look, and it's almost like a dragon and a snake combined. And there's a Buddha, if you see someone sitting there, that's another small Buddha. But you see how the building is made with all the curves and everything. And you see the elephant that's out there. What color is yeah. the elephant? What color is that? The elephant is a what? Kind of yellow. Yellow or gold, that's right. Yellow because they gold. what? They worship the elephant. They believe it's a sacred animal. Because this reminds me of, uh, this reminds me of China. The Chinese. Yeah, that's why we're very close. close, that's right. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, China. Right, it does remind you of China. It's very close. Okay. So you okay. can see, well, actually, China's not yeah, on here. Uh, China's not north. I think it's this, the beige over here is China, I think. Right. It's okay. very close. It's very close. That's Buddha. Yeah, that was <laughs> that. This, this is another Buddha. Yeah. Another this Buddha. Place, that's a Buddha. I tell you, they've got all types of Buddhas. And this was a huge Buddha. This and he was very, very large. And if you see, it looks like chickens on the side. It was a chicken body, but it had like a dragon face and everything. Oh, my ring. Oh, man. Uh, that's mine. Uh, but um, 
this was one of the very large ones. And this was the Sun Buddha right here. So you can see, but this, this particular place had, oh my goodness, I'm going to say at least 30 different types of Buddha. And this is just one because it was so large. I selected this picture. You can also see they have a lot of what kind of birds there. If you look on the walkway, you know what those are? We have these in the United States. The what kind of birds are those? The pigeon. Does anybody know? The pigeon? Pigeon. Pigeon. Pigeons. They have pigeons. They have pigeons there too. But the they're pigeons. known. Oh, yeah, yeah, those are pigeons, different kinds of pigeons. But I wanted you to see this giant Buddha. Isn't he something? Yes. Yep. He is. He's large. Okay. So All that's right. my yeah, question. That was, yeah, that was my trip for the time. Right. Oh, I know what I forgot to share with you. It yep. took us 36 hours to get from Washington, D.C. to Thailand. <laughs> so that it was a very long wow. ride. We had to change planes. We had to stay over, but we finally made it. It's like we lost a whole day, but it was great. When we came back, we gained a day. <laughs> that's right. But that's so not true. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. So, Jennifer, how about if you talk about Vietnam? This, that was okay. nice. That was great. So, you liked that? Yeah, so, pretty interesting, huh? Okay, so Greg, we'll do Vietnam now. Yep. Okay. I am. I'm listening. Oh, hold on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hi. How you doing? Okay. So, so this it's good to show Vietnam because if you go to the next slide, Greg. Okay. Vietnam. Is something like Army or something? Okay. So, you see, so... So see, Vietnam is 8,304 miles from Washington, D.C. Oh. And so it, like Susie Gabriel. said, it's a long flight from here. Oh. Now when Greg, yeah. and I, when Greg and I went to Vietnam, we lived in Singapore. And so then it was a very short flight. It was only a couple hours. So we went to Vietnam when we lived in Singapore four times. So we really liked it. I was going to say you really liked it. Yeah, so Greg, you want to go to the next slide? Okay, so this is Vietnam, and you can see it's right next to Thailand. So it's on the, so it goes up, it's north and south, it goes up and down. Um, so we were very close to where Susie was there. Um, now we think of, you know, I don't know how everyone's old enough to remember the Vietnam War. Um, but, oh, the war. Right, so, in v, so during the Vietnam War, it was split between North Vietnam and South Vietnam. And we were supporting the North Vietnamese, no, the South Vietnamese, um, but the North Vietnamese won with Ho Chi Minh. So it, now it's all one country again, but it's a communist country. Okay, okay Greg. Or this is just a view of, this is in Hanoi. So in, the, in, the, in North Vietnam, there's not that much money compared to South Vietnam because when Vietnam opened up again during Clinton administration, um, all the money went to South Vietnam because those are all the people who left the country and came to the United States. So they had money and they put it back into South Vietnam. But this is North, so you can see it's, it's kind of low profile for the most part. Greg? All right, and so in, in Vietnam, they don't really have as many cars, they have lots of scooters. Can you see on the left, this, there's a family of four, all in this oh one scooter. Goodness. See, they're all riding yeah. it together. Um, and see how yeah. people are carrying all this stuff on the mm -hmm. back of their truck. Whoa, and then this is, him. yeah, you know, so we, and then we took a tour. So this is me, I'm riding on the back of a scooter with this woman. In, in Hanoi. Greg? Okay. And so in Vietnam, they, um, they don't really have official religion. In you know, a communist country, they actually don't believe in religion in the way that we do in the United States. But they have a history of ancestor reverence. And so if you can see on the left here, you can see all those pictures of people. Um, and yeah. so people are remembering their relatives and also on the right there, right? Yeah. So this, these are shrines and altars and they burn incense and they remember and basically worship their ancestors. And this on the right is part is a big tower that is part of this temple. All right, this is a, oh, actually, this, yeah, so this is a very old university um, that was started as kind of a Chinese university in, in Hanoi. Um, and so, you know, when they first when it was when students went there, there weren't that many. But if you go inside, they actually have places for each class. 
that are like from the, is it like the 1200s, Greg? I was gonna say 800. 800, yeah. 800. Right, so very, very ancient school. So education is very, very important in Asian cultures. I know these people. Yep, that's us. It's, and it's also very hot there, Greg. So what's, a, there's a form of puppetry in um, Vietnam that started in the rice paddies, and so it's water puppets. So behind here, you can see the puppets in the water, and behind there are the puppet, um, the puppeteers, but they're standing in the water. They control the puppets from underneath the water. So if we go to the next slide, we actually have a little video so you can kind of, you can see how it works. And Greg will move around here. I just want to show you a little bit more of the, some different kinds of the puppets. Okay, that's good. But so the, the, this, this is basically different Chinese folk tales that they're showing. Um, but I think it's just so cool how they have the fire with the water and everything. All right, so the, the, another big part of, this is a beautiful bay in um, Vietnam called Halong Bay. And you can see how the kind of the stones kind of come up way out of the water. We were really lucky. We took a trip on, we were supposed to be on a small cruise ship. And I guess everyone else on the cruise ship were Chinese folks who were going to gamble and we were there with friends and so they wanted to put the American family on a boat by themselves So wow. we were actually on our own yacht So Greg you can go to the next line So this is us. This is what Halong Bay looks like. This is our little yacht that we're on So that was nice and there's Greg being the man about town in Halong Bay. <laughs> But it was hey. beautiful there. So it also this is in Halong Bay. They have um, towns that are just in the water Right, so these are like houseboats, but they're actually, they don't move them around. These are people, yeah, these are people, yeah, this is a floating village where people live. Oh, will something like that survive climate change? Did that come up at all? Um, that didn't come up. It's pretty deep along Bay, so I think it would survive for quite a while. They're probably better off with the fact that they're That's houseboats what I'm thinking. already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they'll go up and down. It might be a solution, yeah. yeah. And then they have beautiful beaches too in Vietnam. So this is um, the South China Sea that we're looking at. I think he likes her. Yes, we're very close. <laughs> this is, so then we were further down. This is in Hoi An, which is a, a, a French influenced village. So the French had a big influence in Vietnam. They have very good pastry there um, that comes from that. And they also have a lot of the French languages there. So they have, they're known for their lanterns, which you can see all the Chinese lanterns. This is me with my nephew and my brother-in-law who also came with us. Oh. And here they are, they're doing a little agriculture. So you have the, um, the kind of the water buffalo that are there in kind of the rice paddy with my nephew, Rafe. And then my brother-in-law, Arjun, is doing traditional watering of vegetables. So they fill up those side little um, things with water and then you walk with them. It was very heavy. Where this little man next to him had no trouble doing it at all. Who He's the, he's the actual farmer. So. All right, so this, we also went to a um, cultural center there and they did some traditional dance. So if we move on to the next slide, we have a little video that shows you some of the dance. You don't have to watch the whole thing. We'll just sort of see what you can see, so you can see it. <laughs> That's good. Okay. All right, 
so you can see all the traffic here on the left so we're now now we are down we've moved further south this is ho chi minh city which used to be saigon um we were there we were there right before christmas when we were here um you can see all the people carrying whatever they need to carry you know multiple people on there and here you can see more development right you see the big more skyscrapers there than you would see before up in hanoi in the north um, the food there is excellent. We took a couple cooking classes, and we're here again with our friends Dennis and Tom, who are very tall, sitting on tiny little stools like everyone else. What? Yeah. But the food there is superb. Now, this is a market place, so this is kind of where a lot of people do, you do your shopping. They have traditional markets. The basket, you could buy your eggs right out of a giant basket like that. Those are just normal eggs that you would get from the hens. And then here, people carry things all kinds of ways. You see this guy is carrying donuts on his head. And then on the right, she's selling things. So she, if she, she'll make you a little meal, she'll sit down and make you a little meal that you can cook um, from her baskets. All right, now we're looking, we're looking down at, um, there's a market underneath those umbrellas. And this is for also, you see the top view and the side view. And these are very traditional homes. Um, again, and this is still in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh. And this is underneath the, um, those umbrellas this is the market that's underneath there so now we just have lots of you know, everything looks beautiful right doesn't don't the vegetables all look fabulous they eat a lot of fresh foods lots there of fresh like foods and these are just some some vegetables. these are some photos of people that we saw there this little girl oh ain't that crab. so if crabs yeah. you see how they have the crabs are tied up with um with cloth right and then fish, if you want fresh fish, there's a fish right there. Fish head. Fish head. Specialty. Yeah, fish head specialty. Fish head soup. They bite you. Okay, so, I don't do fish heads. So, I don't do, I don't do, I, I don't do so fish I, heads either. So these, this is... I do um, crab cake. I do those too. They're, my, they're very good. So these are, again, these are some altars. And then this woman is, is, is praying at a, at a shrine. And you can see all the incense burning there. Looks like it's cooler on that day. Right? Yes, that was definitely cooler. So again, here's some more. So this, is, this is some of the artwork on the street. This is our tour guide on the right. And then this is just a woman with her baby at one of the markets. All right, and Greg's in a coffee shop here. And then the man on the right is selling um, um, like lottery tickets. So he drives around and everyone buys their numbers and sells lottery tickets to them in his little cart there. And so see, this guy's a peddler. He sells all these different plastic things. Okay. I noticed that they all kneel to eat when they're eating. Yes, it's, yes, it's, there's lots. Yep. Down, yep, lots of crouching. It, it really, all... I mean, it, it really makes the case that you could get by in, in a society, a big city and a culture that's carless, basically. I mean, I know it's not completely, but I mean, all yeah. this commerce takes place on, a, on bikes. Well, you know, it's, it's actually interesting. When, when we first went to, we went to Hanoi when we first got there. So in like 20, was it 2015, Greg? 2016? 16. 2016, and there was only very few cars. And then when we went back right before we left, it's one of the few last places we went to, there were definitely more cars just in those. Oh, interesting. You could sell that, you know, you could, in Vietnam, you could, told, you could really see development coming. You could see that things were starting to change. They're very entrepreneurial there. Everyone wants a business. Everyone's trying to make money. Um, it's just, you could really see what was happening, you know, just in the time that you're there. All right, just some more pictures. Again, someone selling, you know, things off the back of their bike. This guy's just hanging out. Okay. All right, again, more markets. See all the shoes? Can you see all the sandals on the right? This is in a, this is in a very large um, indoor market and then this is a very this is a very typical shop here on the left right it's kind of narrow going inside and then they have their stuff hanging on the outside and you take your shoes off when you go inside so another market and then another one this is woman this like this is like a little restaurant right where she's sitting outside eating mm -hmm. and so this is us these are with um egg coffee which is the best thing in the world it's fabulous um, this is my this is my sister and my my other my another nephew Xavier and we were there at Christmas and New Year, and New Year's Eve so this is a church which is decorated and 
for that. So that's the end of that. Thank you. All right, any questions? Great pictures, that's all I have to say. Yeah. All right, so next oh, up is gonna be Ryan. bringing up these slides here. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. All right. So Ryan, let's talk about your trip to Memphis, Tennessee. What are these first two slides here? Okay. This is the hotel. No, oh. You have to start at the top. No. Start at the top. top. This is the bus right here. And then down here, this is the hotel. That, that they group stayed in. Right. Okay. Snack guy. Okay. This, this is Graceland. Well, what? Well, this is Elvis House. Mm -hmm. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley's house. And this is inside his house. What area is that? Where room is that? Uh, the dining room. That's the dining room. That's the dining room. And that's the top. Okay. The top and that's the top picture. I know. No, you need to tell them. The top kidding. the top picture is the memorial garden. garden. And the bottom picture is where he keep all his awards. Okay. And just to add a little bit more about the top picture, who's buried these are all family members, right? Yes. And who's buried there also? Elvis Presley's uh, what? The twin. twin. Elvis Presley, we found out, had a twin brother. And his mother, his father, are all buried there. And I, we believe now that since he's passed that, he's buried there as well. And the second picture, again, all those shiny things are what? Awards. And that's just some awards. And this is in this. This is in. The building that was called the. Uh, the sound making the, the, the soundtrack the soundtrack and then you want to say about what's in the case right there that white thing what's that that white that's one of his what? that's that's one of his outfit. That's, uh, that's the outfit right but if you go inside graceland on the in the basement they had all kinds of awards guitars clothing it was just something to see so if you ever get a chance you want to what Go. Go to Graceland, right? Okay, next yes. slide. Okay, this is the next slide. Next slide. All right. Well, we went to Nashville, Tennessee. We went to Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, nice. That's nice. That's beautiful. Grand, grand. And that's the Rhino Opry. And, and what is these costumes? Those, that's costumes of, of, what? of people who perform. Country music stars. Country music stars. I don't know if you've heard of Dolly Parton, but there's one with Dolly Parton. She's very little, so it's a little costume. I think this might be hers. They had, I couldn't find the name on it, but they had a lot of um, old performances. I don't know if you guys may know. You guys ain't hey, hey, That's me. But you have to say lots of right in here. That's me. Standing where? Standing next to the... The grand old... What, grand old rock sign. sign. Yeah. Okay, next one. Next slide. Oh, this this is what the car like? that. Now, this, oh, that was the car that that was the pink car that Elvis rode in. That's the pink what? Tell her that, and that's me standing next to it. Okay. And, and then how many cars did they have in the museum? They have a museum across from the house race. Do you yep. remember how many cars that he owned? It was ten. ten. He had ten. And this is just a picture of one, right? Yes. Okay. And yeah. then again that's me standing the Elvis's plane. Airplane. And it's the name you see the name well, whose name is on it? Name Lisa that? Marie. And who's Lisa Marie? His daughter. And who was Lisa Marie married to? Michael. Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Yes, yes. All right. I and think that was else? the last one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
That was nice. It was. Thank you. So now we're going to hear oh, from Anya. Who I think is still here, yes? Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> and Anya is going to talk about a trip where she swam with sharks. Go on, go ahead, Anya. Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Oh, All right. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I took my first trip overseas at the age of twelve uh, to a basketball camp in Germany. <laughs> Um, I do travel alone, actually, very often, and I recommend that everybody experience it at least once. It's amazing. I have to wake up and be on someone else's time. <laughs> um, I do love the outdoors. I love the beach. I love the water. And I always try to plan at least, like, one outdoor adventure every trip that I take. And food at local restaurants is always better. If it's at home, don't try it. Try to go somewhere else. <laughs> That's great. All right. Uh, so a couple other trips that I've taken. Oh. Uh, first one in October 2015, I went to the Bahamas. Whoa! Um, on a cruise. It was shortly after the hurricane that hit the area, so a lot of the stuff was closed. Um, but I got to swim with a dolphin. Um, random fact about this trip, a friend of mine actually won this trip. Uh, off of like one of those, you write your name and stick your name in the thing and no one ever wins. You're <laughs> won Yeah, very lucky girl. Um, next one, in July of 2016, me and my friends went to Carnival. Um, I am the one in the pink. Pink is my favorite color, so I was the only one that did not want to <laughs> follow suit, but we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It was really, really hot. Um, a lot of walking, a lot of dancing, and I just remember at the end of the day, everyone was exhausted, and we just ate and went to sleep. It was a lot of fun, though. <laughs> so were you actually there, like, on, on, um the day of Mardi Gras, the, the like, what is it called, Fat Tuesday? I know, so this is actually in Jamaica, so it's uh, Carnival, so yeah, we were there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, yeah, we were there for the parade. Uh, we weren't on the float, we were just part of like, they have um, bands that follow the actual float. So there's a person that has like a great big costume with like, hers had wheels on it. That's how big the back part of it was. <laughs> So yeah, and then they have like their band or like their camp that follows them and then you all kind of just party in the street pretty much. And it's just so hot. It's very, very hot there. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun uh, to experience. Um, so actually my first time ever traveling alone was when I went to Cancun, Mexico. And that is me swimming with a nurse shark. Um, I went on a boat tour and we got to get off the boat and go snorkeling and there's an underwater museum in Cancun but of course I have no pictures of it because it was underwater <laughs> <laughs> but it is the best experience of my life and if you get a chance to google it it's just uh, there's statues down there um, there's an old uh, Volkswagen buggy just kind of sitting at the bottom and you can see it because the water so blue so you snorkel and like swim out into the ocean and you can see all of the stuff on the bottom Um, I went to Puerto Rico as well. Um, I got to uh, take a rum making class at the Bacardi factory, so that was a lot of fun. Um, I got to try a dish that I've been looking for in DC ever since I've been back called Mofongo. It's um, kind of like mashed potatoes, but it's ground plantain. And then it's kind of like a heap of brown plantain and they put whatever meat you get on top of it. So they uh, they eat a lot of seafood in Puerto Rico. So it can be shrimp, it can be crab, it can be whatever you order, but it comes in like this great big mashed potato thing and they kind of dump all this stuff on top of it with the most amazing sauce in the world. So <laughs> it's called never... the fungo? Yes, so it depends on what kind you get. So there's shrimp mafungo, there's chicken mafungo, but the actual dish is called mafungo. With an M. Yes. So, so the bishop for um, for DC for Lutherans mm -hmm. is is Layla Ortiz, and she is from Puerto Rico. 
Oh, well, I will ask her if if anybody knows that the, if there's a fungo anywhere in the greater metro DC area, she will know. Yes, please. So I will me. ask her. Okay, I will. I will tell her you've been in search for it. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yep. Yep. That was um, great. Well, actually, I have a few more slides. Yeah. Yeah. Keep okay. Going. Yeah. What a few. Um, <laughs> so I went to oh. Vegas. Uh, with my mom and my sister, actually, a lot of my friends find that very funny that I got my mom to go to Vegas with us. <laughs> um, another funny story, I actually do not gamble like at all, but I mean, I played because I was there and I won a lot of money and it made my sister very upset. That's my sister <laughs> in the picture with me. <laughs> but yeah, a fun time again, somewhere else that's very, very hot. Um, also very expensive. Like it's very expensive to uh, do like anything outside of I guess gambling in Vegas, so like any of the tourist attractions and things like that, yeah, they're pretty pricey. All right, so the last trip that I went on um, in June, for, for my birthday's in May, it's end of May, so the first week of June, I actually went to Cabo, Mexico. So you just went, just yes. within the last six weeks or so? Yes, I just went. Wow, okay. Um, so number one, prices are outrageous. They're trying to make up for the money that they lost while things were closed. <laughs> But I really did enjoy myself. And this is me. I'm going to play the video. And you're going to hear me scream my head off. I was bungee jumping. <laughs> oh, 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 a shark and bungee jumping. Oh, my yes. God. Is that you? That is me. Oh, my God. That oh. is me screaming my head off. That scares me, <laughs> Anya. Um, it is very nerve-wracking at first. It is a very freeing experience. Like, it made me feel definitely like if I can do that, I can literally do anything. So it was definitely a very liberating experience. So you would do it again? I would definitely do it again. By the time you get over your fear and like you actually, I closed my eyes and jumped. But once you finally open your eyes, it's an amazing view that you'll never see anywhere else. I mean, it's upside down, of course, but then it's like an amazing <laughs> view. Like you can see the canyon, you can see, um, I was in the desert, so it's like a lot of cacti and things like that, and like things that I would never see here. So seeing all of that like firsthand up front was really cool. And that is it for me. Awesome. Any questions, anybody? How much? How much was it? I just um, wonder how much the vacation was. I went on an all-inclusive package, and I think it was like between six to eight just to get me there and like Whoa. And yeah that's why i'm waiting that's why I'm, I'm trying to go to florida atlanta florida but i'm trying to wait for the package and stuff this is my first time going to atlanta florida disney yeah. world i'm supposed to go with my uh, roommates my housemates mm -hmm. so yeah it's definitely my wait until you get a package i would recommend that too because then i mean well mine included meals and like everything yeah. else so yeah yeah highly recommend that when you go to florida yeah it's just good to know, though, that if we're going to travel anytime soon, it's going to cost it, right? You just have to know. It helps when you know that going in. Yeah. Italy. Like you Italy. got to bite the bullet, right? Italy. It's Italy. All right. Now, Susie's going to talk to us about Italy. 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 Oh, you're still muted, Miss Susie. Susie, are you muted? Because we can't no, hear you. Susie, Susie's still muted, I believe. I am because I was on the phone with Allison and she was trying to get in. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. But anyway, I was saying, can you tell what shape the, co the sh country is in? It's something that you wear on your feet. Does anyone Flip know? What? Looks like what? You said something you wear on your feet. Oh, so, Allison, again. look at look at the orange, the country in orange. Look, this is Italy right here. I T A L T Y. Okay, ignore this, I'm gonna ignore this part. So, what does you this look, look like that you would wear? What does that look clothes? like to you? Um, let me see. Uh, ooh. Something you wear on your feet when it's cold. Oh, boots. <laughs> Was in Italy, you see the star Rome, capital. I went to Rome. 
I went to Milan, I went to Florence, Whoa. and I went to Venice. And my girlfriend and I did it all on the train. We learned how to ride the train. Wow. Next that's slide. Impressive. This is a very famous church in Florence. And you can see how the church and the steeples overpowers all of the what? The buildings below. And we took this from, this picture was taken from an overlook where you, can you go, the bus would take you to the overlook and you could look down on the city. But you can see how this church and you see how big it is and all those circular windows around the, the steeple of the church. And yes. one of the things in Rome, the Romans did everything big. Everything yes. is big. Can you turn to the next slide? And Whoa. you can see, I said they did everything large. Do you know what this is? A, a, what is this? This is a, a, a statue of a what? A lion. A lion. A lion. Uh, that's it. It's a lion, right, and it was a huge stone lion. And I just thought, my goodness, I've never seen anything like this before. A part of our trip when we went to Rome was we went to the Vatican. Do you know what house, who lives in the Vatican, what, that lives in that building? That, does anybody know who lives in the Vatican, the what? Uh, yep, yeah. say it, the Pope, or the head of the Catholic Church. Next slide. This is so cool. This, this is the city that we went to, and this city is built on a lagoon, which is a body of water. And this city is called Venice. And again, you can only get to Venice by what? What do you think? Boat. Boat or train. There are no cars allowed on Venice. Everybody walks or rides a bike or is on a boat. And you can see all the buildings and you see all the water. Unfortunately, the city is beginning to sink because of climate change, that the waters now are rising. So they're looking at how to fix that. So, but it's a beautiful city. And you just go through all these little streets and you see the flowers on the buildings and you see people have lots of flowers that's hanging off their terraces and everything. And I wanna tell you, I ate a lot of pizza and I ate a whole pizza by myself because they don't sell slices. They call it a pie. And I never thought I could eat a pie by myself, but I did. <laughs> because Whoa. the crust is so thin, it's not like some of the very thick crusts we get from places like Domino's or Pizza Hut, but they call it a pie. But this was very interesting and it was just beautiful. Next slide. Oh, that's a Rome? This is in Milan. No, this is Milan. This is. Milan. This was an archway. Milan is known as the fashion capital of the world, where everybody designs clothes and they have nothing but boutiques. But on the bus trip that I was, the bus tour, this was so beautiful because if you look up top, it's got all these carvings, you can see, of people right there within it. And we're at the very top. But this building I thought was so beautiful that I took a picture of this one. But everything in, uh, Rome is large. Next slide. I think that's it. That's it for the Rome. Okay. Yep. Any questions? But I had many more pictures, but it's still on my um, old camera that I had to get a new camera. And I actually went to the Vatican and actually saw the Sixteen Chapel. And you keep and wow. you, tell you, you cannot. No one can speak. And if you, if anybody's whispering, the security taps you on your shoulder. That tells you that you're speaking, but if you look up at the ceiling, it's the, uh, the, the ceiling is painted by Michelangelo and you look at, it's all a religious theme, but what was even more amazing to me was the tapestry that was on the walls, huge rugs, beautifully, uh, designed. So if you ever get a chance to go to Rome, you want to go because everything is big in Rome, all the statues and a part of the museum at the Vatican is they had old Roman tubs. I would need a ladder to get in it. So <laughs> that's how big they were. What? So, but it was a good trip. Any questions? Well, uh, I got to ask you a question. Since you since you've been all those different places and stuff, what what about what about where to sleep at and stuff? Well, I sleep at a we sleep at a hotel, and luckily the hotel that we were staying at 
the train station was right there. And what was so funny, the first day, we thought we were going to take the train to Venice. And the driver says, oh, it's 5 o'clock. The workers are on strike. You have to come back in an hour. <laughs> he said, oh, but go get your taxi. Oh, my and the taxi goodness. said from the little town that we stayed in to go to Venice was $100. So we decided we just walk the little town. <laughs> and we went to Venice the next morning. But yeah, we, we stayed at a hotel. And what we usually do is we always go on the computer and look for points of interest, place that the city is known for, and make sure that we do tours. And what we do is we do got on a bus that called uh, Hop On, Hop Off. And you can and you get a ticket for a day and it takes you around to all these different places. But you can stay as long as you want, and another bus will come around, and then you can get on that. So you pay one price to ride around to all these places of interest. And it's called a hop-on, hop-off bus. And D.C. actually has that, too, downtown. If you want to ride, oh, and you ride around and see, yep, downtown. And it's at E, I think it's 10th and E, at the, the souvenir shop that they have, a big souvenir. You can get tickets there. Or Not that far. State Church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I got to save a lot of money for that. <laughs> yeah. You save up. You have to save. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer and Greg, you also went to New Zealand, right? Yes. Okay. Let me see. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, let me see. Okay. Here we go. I see you look. Okay. Hey. So New, New Zealand's also very far away, and it's actually, um, Greg, you changed slides. It's actually very far away from everywhere, except for Australia. Whoa. So again, from here, it's it's 8,620 miles. And you can see, right, it's, in the, it's, it's just really in the middle of the ocean, right? The Pacific Ocean. The ocean? Yeah, and so we, again, we went there from Singapore. So even from Singapore, which, Greg, can you show more Singapore's with your little cursor thing? Is over here. It still was a 14-hour flight for us to get. Wow, there. that's still a long ways away. Wow, so it's still, a long way. That's a long so way. So it's a long way, but it's worth it. Did All you right. get? Did you get enough rest? Well, you know, we actually we flew. We were on seats where we could lay down, so we were very spoiled. So we actually rested on the way there, so it was pretty good. All right, so yeah. New, the, New Zealand is made up of a whole bunch of different islands, but there's two main islands: the North Island and the South Island. Um, and it's um, they're they're very they're very different. So we'll start I think on the south. So this is the South Island, and you can see it's very it's very green there, and right along the water is beautiful. It's hard to get the scale sometimes. So you can see how the water here that's the actual color of the water. There, it's because of the yeah. minerals in the water makes it this really beautiful kind of teal color. And then here we are on the ocean. So, you know, really there's, in the ocean, the, the beaches were extremely clean because there's nothing, there's nothing nearby to kind of come up on the, on the ocean, I mean, onto the beach. So, so this is some more of the coastline. And so this is what it, this isn't the picture we took, but this is what it looks like, right? You, and I don't know if any one of you have seen, um, which I have actually not seen, um, Lord of the Rings. So that was shot in New Zealand, and I think it's because it has these very beautiful vistas. All right, so this is a glacier. This is Franz Joseph Glacier. So we, you know, you can kind of walk up to it. Um, you can see it, how it on the left is sort of just peeking out, and then here you can get a real closer look of it. And then we have another picture that is what it looks like when you're on the top of it, right? So these are all because of climate change, they're all receding. So, you know, I'm not sure, I haven't heard about how long it is till they're, they may just disappear on us. And there's another big glacier down there too. So this is um, Lake Wanaka, which is um, further down. So this is in a lake and there's this, this tree's kind of famous, um, just grows in the water. This is a view from the top of Milford Sound, which is a very famous site there too. You know, one of the places that you wanna go. And then we, this, again, this isn't a picture we took, but we, when, the day we went, it was cloudy. Um, but so this is what it looks like from the ground with the kind of the clouds that hide the top of the mountains. And you can see the, the waterfalls, there are lots of waterfalls that then feed into the, to the sound. And here's another big waterfall. Oh, beautiful. All right, so, so they have herds, they have huge herds. As you drive through southern, the South Island, they have huge herds of sheep 
then separate then you'll go on a little further there'll be a huge herd of, of cows and then they also do you know what's in the upper right hand corner what that is it's, it's, it's deer so they also they raise deer like we raise cows Okay. So we were in an Indian restaurant. We had a very good thing of, of like venison vindaloo, I think. So. Oh. so when you're there, it's very, honestly, there just aren't that many people. So I, we stood in the middle of the road and took this picture because there was no traffic. All right, then we go up to the North Island, and the North Island has lots of... Um, Kind of volcanic activity geothermal activity so i don't know if you can see here see, see the little bushes up on the right but you can see all the kind of steam rising from this next slide please. all right so this is more kind of steam rising on the right and the left this is a close-up of the different kinds of kind of um, like algae kind of growths they're very beautiful i think i think it's i mean to me it's a very abstract kind of photograph um and then here's the video so you can see the steam all rising and all the geysers, the little geysers. So you can hear all the water going. Yeah. Next slide, Next slide go. There we go. Okay, so we'll play this is another one. You can see you'll hear you'll see the water boiling. Right? It's so hot that the water is boiling. So don't put your feet in there. That's my recommendation. All right. So in um, the, the native people in New Zealand are the Maori. And so we went to a Maori village. And so this is kind of the, the traditional dress for the Maori, for the man and for the woman. Um, and so can you see how he's sticking his tongue out? Yeah. That's very something they do. It's, it's a very expressive thing. And you'll see like the eyes get big and so we'll show a video later on of a couple things so you can see that, but that's a very um, common kind of expression. All right, so you can see, you can see even here the, 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 um, the carving in the middle has the tongue out, right? And then the, the, on the right is like a chapter house, um, village house, and then they have kind of like a totem thing, right? Again, up above, you can see, right, the tongue is out on the thing above. So it's very, it's just a very common expression. All right, so we'll do a little video here. So this is a folk dance, kind of traditional dance and song. So, hey. <laughs> so the, the, next, the next thing I want to talk about is there's a, New Zealand's really known and the Maori people are known for something called the haka. So a haka is a ceremonial kind of, kind of dance, but it, um, it can be done for a whole bunch of different reasons. So probably the most famous is the rugby team does a haka every time before it plays international matches. And so if you ever want to Google that, you can look up rugby haka and you'll see them doing it. But it, it, you, you, you're kind of basically almost, um, you're psyching for, the, for, the, for that, they're psyching themselves up, they're trying to intimidate their opponent. But it's also done for other reasons too, and you'll see they'll, they'll you know, you kind of hit yourself to kind of, you know, get, get yourself kind of motivated. Um, but like I, when I was looking for different things, they also have one like, they do it for protest, um, they'll do it for variety of things, but this one is for, is at a wedding. And it's, 
actually, it, it does have um, subtitles here, but they're talking about, you'll see these men are, are doing, performing the haka to the bride and groom, and they are saying, you know, we know, you know, what, what problem do you have? And the, basically, there's, at the end, they say, the solution is you, the solution is inside of you. You have the solution inside of you. Um, it's very, I think it's a very emotional thing, but what I like about the haka is it's, it's, it's a very, you know, it's a very traditional old um, custom that is also done modern in a very modern way. So it's very interesting to watch this just because you'll see, you'll see that when there's one point, the bridesmaid is very intense. But anyway, I have Greg play this for you. Okay, so what did you guys think about that? Uh, it's okay. It's okay? It's not like very it's not like intense. <laughs> yeah, do you, so, but... so I, um, I, I just thought about something, about that dance. You know, like, when you go to a college and stuff? Yeah. All that, when you do a dance, like, it's something like that? Like mm -hmm. step dancing, right? Yep. Yeah, step it, dancing, they yeah, do it in college. Like, like right. black fraternities do. Right, it's yeah. very yeah. communal, right? It's yeah. the community doing yeah. it together. Which I just, it, yeah. to me, it's like right there, they're, they're embracing this man and saying, you know, that, you know, what is inside of you is important. We trust you. You know, you, we trust you to do what is right. Okay. So this, again, see it brought this, go ahead. It brought the bride to tears, but it's very intense. It's very intense. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But, yeah. but, you know, it reminds me of some moments. It is. So, so they, they actually, the Samoans, they all kind of have a similar oh. history. Um, the, the, the Polynesians came to um, came to New Zealand in like the 1200s, so it's a, it's the most recently settled of the large um, inhabited of the large um, bodies of land in, in the world, and so it's pretty new. But that's they they came from that that similar culture came over with the Polynesians to to um, New Zealand, and so then came the Maoris. So this is a traditional, this is back at the traditional village. And you can see with all the geothermal activity, they, so they cook stuff here on the left, right? They actually just put it in the ground and cook it. Um, this is a very big geyser in the middle. And then they also have hot baths that they can push the, put the water into the tubs from the hop, from the national springs. Okay, and this is us at the very end. So that's, so that's New Zealand. I'm sorry about your birthday, but I did love you. Yeah. What you doing? Thank you. Any questions? Do I have to talk to you later? I'm busy right now. That was great. All right. Thank you. Our last witness presentation. Okay, that was good. Hello. I said everybody did. That was great. Whoops. I didn't do what it was supposed to. All right. Who's going to talk about a trip to Cape Cod? This is your
it's a nice view. Uh, this is a trip to Cape Cod, where you can see the mm -hmm. island shaped like an arm. Mm -hmm. This is what state? And, huh? this is what state? and this is in Massachusetts. Next slide. This is the windmill. Did you see a lot of windmills or just yeah, a little? We just uh, we saw a lot of windmills. Mm -hmm. And a lot of and a lot of lighthouses. Is Cape Cod surrounded by water? Yes. Yes it is. Yeah. Next, Next slide. This, we went to this island. This is the island of what? That's the island of Marcus. Marcus venue. And you can only get there by what? And you can only get there by boat. See the, you see the lighthouses? You see yes. how many lighthouses One, do they two, have? Three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Right. Five. Why do you think they have a lot of lighthouses? Because of what? Oh. So when the, so when the storm comes, when the storm comes and also the guide to what? Guide the... Uh, you can only get there by what? Boat. So the guide to what? Boat. The boats, right. And what's the next slide? And this is... The next slide. Oh, uh, the next slide. Is what? Is the... Just like loud, let's the game. The next slide is the um, boat. That we took to go... That we took on the... Uh, to go to... To go to... Gay Ma Martha's Ma venue. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what did they put on the boat? What did they put on the, the bus? Boat? that a big bus of 47 people. Yeah. We weren't on the, were we on the bus when they put it on, or we were in our in regular seats? We were in our regular seats. Regular seats, right. But the bus can, I go, get on to can, can I go all the way back to the bus slide so we can remember how big it was? Because that's a big old yes. bus, right? See how big that yeah. bus is? Yeah. It's a big and bus. It, and it got and on. And it fit in that. Yeah. Since it is so that, that some big cars. old boat is big enough to carry that big old bus. Yeah, Aren't that ferry can carry cars and boats. And there's a car right at the entrance right there in the middle of the doorway. That's a car right there. Okay, next one. Next one. Okay. Did you see a monster? Tell about what you saw. There's a what? Tree. Uh, I would say a word. They almost look like the gingerbread houses, but they're they're regular houses. Right. But if you have, like Ryan said, they look like gingerbread houses, don't they? Yes. Very mm -hmm. decorative. And the house at the bottom, the pink one, is one of their what? Most what? Famous house. Right. Right. Anything else you say? Who on Marcus Vinny? And the top one, it's. Is pink as well. Okay. Any, okay. Anything else? I think, that, I think that's it, right? For him? Yep, that's it. Okay. Okay. Oh, Allison, Let me get us back here. So, everybody did so amazing. Can we give everybody a big hand? Yay! 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 Now, somebody tell me a place they want to go. Charlene? You mentioned a place that you said you had a place you were ready to go to, right? Well, I I, I supposed to be going to I supposed to be going to Atlanta, Florida, like Brian, yeah. but I don't know. Oh. I don't know if they're going to Atlanta. I got, but I gotta wait to see. They got the package first. I supposed to, I was supposed <laughs> to go in July, but I I guess I'm going in August. They're gonna let me. They got, they're gonna let me know. And and yeah, yeah we, from Anya, we know it's important to, to wait for a package that's a good value, right? Because we know we're gonna have yeah. to pay a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Ryan? Where would you like to take a vacation? Uh, I'm going to New Orleans in December. Ooh, I've never been there. Have you been, been a lot before? of good food in New Orleans? Have you been there before? She asked. No. Okay. Oh, I, I was telling. There. Her. So Bonnie and John are going to New Orleans next month, right, John? Yep. Mm -hmm. But I so like I was... to go. My dream one is to go to Perth, Australia. Oh. No, that'd be one place to come from. From Singapore, you got probably the close, a close place to get to Perth. Yeah, I think it's only four hours from it's, there. It's a long ways from many places. 
and yeah. it's like a San Diego in Australia, nice, nice weather, and um, and it's very isolated. Well, and I was I was telling Bonnie when when we were she and I were talking about New Orleans. I said, in New Orleans, you, you tell time by the number of meals you're going to have, right? So we're, we're how, many, how many meals are you going for, Ryan? Do you know yet? No. Well, we'll be up no. before we get to it New Orleans. Now, before we get to New Orleans, we're going we're gonna to fly to Memphis, and then we'll take a riverboat, um, the American Queen with the water wheel, and go yeah. down the Mississippi River. And... Uh, and see the various towns you know, down there, and then we get to New Orleans. And when we go home, we're going to take the train, Amtrak. That sounds like a great trip. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have a trip that they want to take or that they plan? Anya, do you know where you're going next? I don't know where I'm going next, but Thailand is actually on one of my bucket list trips, so I really enjoyed ah. their presentation. So now I have a couple places to look forward to. Yes. Good food, very good food. We have All a trip, right. we had a ahead, trip planned. We had a trip planned for uh, the Rhine River, um, and go up to Switzerland oh. and take it down to uh, Amsterdam. And um, but that's but because of the pandemic, it's been delayed. So hopefully next year we can go go to Europe and go down the Rhine River. Jennifer and Greg, do you have a trip? Are you still planning something or do you have something that you're thinking about? Well, right now we don't actually have a specific thing. We have a couple things we want to do, but um, we'll see. I think we're gonna probably stay in the United States for a little bit before we travel internationally. But um, I would like to go to Chicago. I haven't been there for quite a while. And Chicago's always great. Chicago? Nice yeah. town. Same thing, great town. Yeah. Susie knows I love I'm pizza, so Chicago. yeah. <laughs> Chicago pizza is amazing. The deep yeah. dish pizza and their Chicago yeah. style dogs are really good. Yeah, it's always <laughs> about the food for me too, Anya. And tell her priority. Yeah. yeah, it's very funny. All right, well, thanks everybody. It was so much fun to have you. Um, remember, you can watch us again or, or have folks who had to miss it on the vi on a video. The video should be up uh, by next by the end of this week. And you can find that on our website lifelinepartnership.org it's on a past programs tab all the way down at the bottom everything we've done so far this year is on there if you want to go back and then our next program is going to be Saturday August 21st at the same time at 2 o'clock and it's going to be about national parks and I've just started doing that I think we may play a game as part of that and, and maybe I'll be sending you out some stickers Things. So keep an eye out for that. All right. Anybody have anything else? Well, I really enjoyed this. I want to thank all those producers of all those yeah, nice I programs. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. I Good enjoyed job, it too. everybody. The only thing I can't blow up that ball. I can't blow up that ball. <laughs> you got to get someone to help you. It needs somebody with a lot of the hot air. So more I hot air than you. you. I got away. I can't blow up the ball. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Not meant to be easy. <laughs> All right, everybody. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.